Your boy Naruto Storm Forest, the greatest anime fighter of all time, back with another video, and I wanted to do a reaction towards Sheikah's Clouds, reacting towards the new Road to Baruto DLC trailer. Uh, if you don't know what Sheikah's Clouds is, it's one of the OGs of Naruto Storm, uh, not just Storm 4, but just Storm Period, I believe. Uh, channel is about, I think, a decade and, and change deep in the game, so... I just want to do this video just to really pay homage to him. I don't think he does much Storm or Naruto fighting games to this point in his career, but he's still one of the OGs and got me really deeply into Storm for a period of time in my life. So we're just going to go ahead and get to this video and see what he has to say. Yeah, I don't think you can hear the audio, but it's it's not really worth hearing. I got Momoshiki. Uh, I think he asked. Well, what he's the point he's bringing up now is that Momoshiki looks like someone that's always playable. Best that I know, you couldn't even play. Um, I never downloaded the the Road to Baruto pack. I know it gave you like um, that alternate story mode, uh, universe mode, whatever uh, missions. But I don't think it ever gave you like new story missions. That may be incorrect, but I don't believe it did. Um, I do know that Momoshiki, and uh, I don't believe Momoshiki was playable. Uh, playable. Road to bar, so I don't believe he was, but I just had to double check. Uh, it looks like they have mods. Okay, three days after releasing Momoshiki is playable. Maybe they already were playable. Who knows? <laughs> he even had, like, gameplay. Well, I think he had games with the mods. That was one of his channels. Yeah, as a mod. Okay, so he was playable as a mod, but not as an actual character. Um, I think he looked fire. The, uh, the Chakra Fruits Momoshiki upgraded was pretty cool. Even like see like the tired of storm in his eyes. Look at him. He's just he see enough storm for the rest of his lifetime. None of those three are playable. But he's gonna bring up an interesting point a little bit later in this video. They actually they have the uniforms, but I don't think the characters themselves are playable. See, he just he just said that we might get the full. Like he wasn't saying that to say that's actually gonna happen, but he's just suggesting the notion of that we get a full Boruto roster possibly. Like how cool that'd be, and that really would be very cool. I mean, that would bring this game back to life, in my opinion. <laughs> this man just said he might come back if that was the case. Honestly, it'd be amazing if he did. I don't think he would. He even said so he's joking, but I think it'd be really cool. He's just an entertaining. He's an entertaining online fighter. Why are they showing old shit? They're just scrolling through the rest of this. He, I think it, I think it might be free. I'm not sure, but I'd hope it to be because the DLC itself cost money back in the day, but like. It cost. It was like a. It was like a year late. Like the DLC itself, was like a year late from when Barto started. Like the movie Barto, not the actual anime, but like the movie that Barto, um, with Momoshiki and and uh the other o Otsutsuki. This is the other Otsutsuki. I forget his name. He has the hammer, and Sasuke used the uh, teleportation jutsu on him, which was cool as hell. I forgot the name of it, but the the jutsu name is pretty cool. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you hiding shit? It, it did come out like what? Early 2017? Like March 2017? 
it's kind of crazy to think about this game's even still like being supported in the, I mean like it's three years I look at it and look away Jesus and then yet another YouTuber saying that the bar to anime is trash I think it's like the umpteenth of one uh, we have more bar we have more YouTubers that hate Boruto than YouTubers who don't at this point. It's just a fact of life. So anyway, I'm going to kind of close out on this. Uh, shout out to Switch. Basically reviving. It appears to be reviving this game. Um, I don't know why CC2 is milking this game for so much. And continuing to produce all these flopping Naruto games like Shinobi Strikers. And um, that Voltage um, mobile game that I don't think even got off into stores. They, and then Blazing Field, because Blaze is the worst community in all of gotcha games. I make it down with quite a bit for saying that their community is horrible and toxic. To have the most inferior product other than, like, I, I don't even know. There's gotcha games that came out four or five years ago that aren't Naruto, um, Dokkan, that are more successful than Blazing. Blazing's anniversaries are, like, mid compared to any other games. But that's just my opinion, I guess. You take that how you want to. Um... Yeah, the point being, like, they keep on releasing all these flops. A flop of an anime, flop of a mobile game, flop of a console game. And then instead of just going back to their roots, Storm, they want to drop nothing. So, I don't know. I wish they would just drop another Storm because and the whole community wants Storm. Uh, Afro Senju, um, Sheikah's Clouds, well, a, a new Storm. At least that's what they said after the end of Storm 4. Um... Samo gaming, I think he he would play it. Um, I just it, we just don't have anything else. Like they, these are all YouTubers that are Naruto based. Um, Afro Senju, um, Papa Berto. These are people that came up from Naruto to get here to where they are now, and they have no Naruto to play because uh, because the producers want to make absolute garbage instead and keep on flopping and make CAC uh characters related games that are useless i mean it's just unnecessary anyway that's it for me uh sorry for not having the shirt on it's very hot in, in my household right now and i did not want to overdose on heat uh hope we get storm 5 hope to switch users enjoy the 10 people that will be playing storm 4 in 2020 and uh peace